That's all we'll do. We don't want to get too full. Um, I don't suppose you've got a pristine battery. Two pristine batteries, just not fully charged in a perfect condition large electric motor. It's not the enhanced, but I might grab that while we have opportunity. Well, there we go. 97%. Cool. Am I going to need it? If we ever need to autoclave anything, I'm going to need all the power I can get. Wow. What did I do to my battery? <laughs> Uh-oh. How the hell did I drain it down to 20%? Oh, never mind. No, how did I drain it down to 20%? That's the wrong vehicle. I was all confused. Getting myself confused. I'm like, whoa, where? what happened? All right. So, yeah, I like the condition, but not enough power to worry about. So, we'll grab my my tool. I think it's here. Uh, where do you keep your storage batteries? Up front. Yep. Uh, activate. Hand jack. I already grabbed an engine. I feel like I might have already grabbed one. Or a motor, I mean. Let's go see if I've already grabbed one first. I can't remember. Uh, nope. Can't do anything with it until we get our mechanics to eight, but that's just a bit more reading. <clears throat> All right, is it time? Already got a problem. <laughs> Already can't fit unless I mow down a street light and go south of those wrecks. Other option is keep going north and then hook around and down into this backfield here. The northern path is clear from what I can see. here is to go fast enough to keep moving but slow enough to be able to turn that is a lot of guys in front of me but nothing that should stop me currently I'm gonna push forward no 
ferals, no ferals, no ferals, no ferals. Uh oh, Scooter of Doom! <laughs> really tempted to uh, zip up right along the edge of the public art piece into this open area and just circle. I'd have to get through that section there, but I have to make a sharp turn and there could be a bunch of zombies up there too. Big danger is if I do come to a halt and then I get surrounded and I won't be able to move the vehicle. I could angle north. This is the danger right there. If I go this way, I'm going to have to go under and then up. I got enough room to make that kind of a pivot. Hopefully these guys don't come all the way across while I'm trying to do that. It's safer, I think, to do that than it is to try to make this hard turn and go up that way. Let's keep, let's keep our momentum. We shall slow down a bit. Make sure we drift under that, which we're clear now. Oh, crap. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I guess we're going to just mow the sidewalk. Ah, we're going to mow the sidewalk. So this is the, f the, the top edge of my vehicle. We're going to hit the wing mirror, which might, could be a problem. It could cause a weird pivot on the security van that could cause an issue. But I'm not super happy about that. Otherwise, I'd have to be right along right, right along the edge of the building in order to continue. Which I kind of would prefer than tapping any part of that, uh, that security van, even the wing mirror. Is that the last building? That's the last building. Yeah, I'm going to try to drift down and go right along the edge of the building. We're going to hope that we don't uh, get pivoted or drift from anything. So we'll slow down slightly, do a slight pivot, straighten out. All right, so the edge of our vehicle is now just going to hit a bush, a mailbox, and a couple bushes. That's better than, uh, and the street light. That's better than hitting the wing mirror, I think. <laughs> All right, let's keep it at uh, 20. Now let's move it up a bit. I gotta make sure I don't get slowed down by the bush, the uh, oh, the, the street light. Coming back out again might be a problem. Although it's looking like we'll have a route like this to get us back up there, and then we I know we can come across and uh, we can pivot down through this or across. So we should be okay on the return trip, I think. Yet more vehicles trying to block my way. <laughs> Dermatic gets in between my ram and my vehicle. I, I do not want to see any hint of triffids. No triffids. This needs to be a triffid free zone all the way down to the lab. From the southwest and below, you hear a klaxon blaring. <laughs> You don't usually have klaxons blaring in standard science labs. I've seen no triffids so far. Uh, do I care about the ammo? I got a million grenades. Still got to consider we've got to get through a huge amount of enemies at the military base and the ram is not performing as well as I would like. And the TCL is questionable. I may or may not need to hit the TCL and or go deep in the TCL. That one's going to have a lot less enemies to deal with than the military base. Ideally, we get what we need here in the science lab. Then we hit the, uh, the TCL just for the warehouse uh, loot. We're trying to find medical samples and uh, materials for crafting mutagen, and uh, we go for the deep vault for the uh, the goodies. 
I don't know that I would bother hitting the actual medical section. I think that's going to have like 20 mutants <laughs> in there of various types. We'll see when we get there, depending on how long it takes. But the order of events will be this lab. I pray it's five levels deep with nice, fat, big levels. <laughs> Lots of rooms and opportunities for the medical book to drop. I'm just debating whether I want to uh, blowtorch the door and toss a grenade in so I can collect the ammo from the, the turret or whether I just ID card it and have the turret disappear. We've only got 10,000... 10,500 rounds of ammo currently. And the military base will stock us back up. I don't know how much. I haven't seen the loot there in quite a while. Whoops. <laughs> As I hit the door. I probably just broke the card reader. Well, that's not good. <laughs> From below, you hear a crash. And the, the, the ground crumbles away. <laughs> Crap. Uh, I can't wait to see what's in this lab. Um, I guess we grenade our way in. My throwing skill probably dropped again, which we can fix pretty easily. 95%. We'll just go throw that stick. Come here, stick. I'm gonna throw you. <laughs> Practical skill three. So tough to regain rusted XP. Oh, the horror. The horror. Alright, we all know what happens every time Vorm plays with grenades. I need a torch. And I need gogglies. Activate. Torch. <laughs> Save game had to kick in right there. Alright, we have a grenade in hand. Uh, we have a turret right there. Uh, we are going to go ahead and peek throw, even with the, uh, the, the terrible throwing bonus. So, activate, grenade, peek to here, throw, grenade, over there, run this away. Turret dead. All right, torch and goggles are gone. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh, it's pain from the uh, <laughs> the the eardrums again. It's eardrum pain. Give me oh oh only two hundred rounds of ammo. When did they change that again? Funny, some of them still give the 1600, but uh, most now only give a couple hundred. All right, well, give me that. Recovers a fair amount of what I used earlier. Uh, I guess over here. All right, so we've got 60 rounds in our drum magazine. I got two 30-round magazine replacements for quick change-outs, and then 276 loose that we can do uh, reloading from. Um, I'm just going to keep with my standard gear that we've been running around with for a while now. I'm not going to worry about bringing in any specialized gear. I need to find out if this is an ice lab or not first. So we're at comfortable temperatures. 22, all right, we'll just use the head. So five on the head right now when we're outside. Question one, is this an ice lab? Usually you can tell from here. <laughs> Neg 10. 
Oh man. We got a sleeping area. Two sleeping areas. Hey, another pressurized tank and a chemistry set. They know I'm coming. They know I'm coming. They're giving me what I need. It'd be funny if... Oh, please be medical. Please be medical. That'd be so hilarious. Oh, Smythe. Close. So close. That's the kind of book we're looking for. We need lab journals, but we need the medical journal. All right. Activate. Headlamp. Peak. Oh, <laughs> stupid double hit point mole rat. Crap. Um. All right, it's not a nice lab. We're okay. Mole rat, you're gonna cause problems. Hmm. I pump a bunch of bullets into the mole rat, and I mean a bunch of bullets. I'd rather just lure him into, if I can manage it, lure him into a blob pit. I'm just worried about him taking the stairs out. That's what I'm worried about. More nades. Only got one left with me at the moment. We'll let him wander around for now. Epinephrine injector, cephalopod. Bleach and lie. Wow, 159 units of lie powder? Isn't that a lot? I still don't have mutagen recipe. How did I get my applied to? Dropped from six. Hmm. Do I not even have the book for basic mutagen? Uh oh. <laughs> Here comes the radiation again. Oh man. What is it with me and getting radiated in these places lately? The tattoo. And cable charger. Eh, maybe cable charger. Hey. You don't need to be messing with me, mole rat. Uh, I'd love to grenade him in that room, but he's going to be... He's going to come back out of there a little too quick, I think. Ugh. So, cleaner bot. He could be from this room. Although, well, that's probably rubble from the, uh, from earlier. Alright, mole rat. Now you're starting to annoy me. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know if I can get him to come upstairs. And I'm worried, like I said, I'm really worried he's going to break the stairs. That'd be really annoying. We'll risk it. Come here, you. Shrieking, is he? Dang it. Now I got the problem of whether he's waiting for me down there. Let's grab a Let's grab a couple more grenades <laughs> just in case. Nah, I better not. Better not uh, airlock this until I've got this mole rat deal dealt with. I got some maneuvering room, so we'll try the uh, the ammo first. Let's 
Oof, wow, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Get out of the way, cleaner bot. Ah, there's the spill. Crap. Yeah, we're going to get radiated again. <laughs> yep, we already got radiated. God damn it. <laughs> uh... So annoying. Every lab I go into now. Hey there, clean suit. What is the environmental 10? I don't know if that's enough. Yeah, they, they keep doing that to me. I got five potassium iodide. Can I make more? I cannot. Not simply, anyway. Well, um, that's pretty annoying again. I had pretty bad luck with that. I'd have to take off a bunch of... I'd have to take at least my footwear and probably some other stuff off in order to put the stupid clean suit on. Let's see what it's going to take. Boots off. Can't wear the clean suit because of the forehead item. That would be... Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think it's the gas mask. The right helmet? Still can't do it. <laughs> Lower torso. It's going to be a nightmare to get this clean suit on and off. Screw it. We're going to take some potassium iodide. Which I didn't grab. And we'll just try to avoid that direction. Oh, we're back in my natural habitat. Other than a Humvee. Mm, I don't think I'm going to worry about that. Cool, we're going down. First thing I want to know is how deep is the lab? Very important. Oh, that's a good room for us. Temperature's maintaining, so yeah, not a nice lab. Cattle and cephalopod. We are going to be neither of those. Get rid of our nasty towel. Fractional distillation apparatus. That's right. We still don't have all the tools. <laughs> I don't remember which ones I have. I gotta. I gotta check that too. But that is one of them. One of the four. What do we got? Samples. 
quit for now. Shuffling? Oh, mechanical whirring. Oh, please, please, please let that not be the finale. <laughs> that would suck. I'm a little worried about the amount of noise being uh, generated there. Uh, please don't let that. Plus, we have no door here, no door here, and finale floors are tend to be smaller. So we, I could be, I could be seriously annoyed <laughs> if we get a two floor finale and the second floor is tiny. Oh, door to the south. That helps my alleviate a little. Oh crap! Is that where the original hole in the ground came from. More cricket. What did you open up? Um, hmm. Whoa, our guest. Ah, I can't get enough room on him. He's too fast. Crap. Um. And easily go around him. Let's go to three shot burst and hope. We get a decent number. Oh, god damn, he moves too fast. Look at this. He is going to super punch me, and then I'm going to be slowed, and I won't be able to get rid of him. This could be pretty bad. Got him down to two. Torso bleed. Uh, risk it. Oh, thank goodness. That worried me a bit. We got a, a really big critical on him there with that second burst. Do not need any of that nonsense. So that gives us what? Base mutagen, yay. Uh that's it, just base mutagen. Hey, mutagen. Ah, uh, level, yeah, level six, which we are theoretical. Um. <laughs> All right, so we got one of the things we need. Chemical making we've got, so separation and analysis we don't have yet. I gotta, I gotta go look which one we got. I think we got one tool previously, unless we got it on a different Doctor Death. <laughs> it's been so long since I really was able to look at. Oh, you coming out? Did you spot me? Apparently, didn't spot me. Don't risk it. Multivitamin. Autoclave pouches. I want to say we already had some of those too. Mm. 
Mole Cricket and a uh, Weather Reader CBM. Uh, come here, Mole Cricket. I don't think I can hit him from this angle. Nope. Step out into the hallway, Mole Cricket. There you go. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I need you to I need you to stop doing that. It's going through the wall still. I don't want to get closer. All right, we got screeched or something. Uh, lit up dazed. More samples. Oh, yeah. Shuffling. Hopefully we can deal with shuffling. Uh, I don't really care about what's in that room. Don't care. Really? Somebody's inside the uh, storage? Mutagen. Or they're on the other side of it. Yeah. Oh, stare down. All right, so that's definitely not the finale. Thank goodness. Oh, I got my wish. Always fun when that happens. All right, we're on four, so five is as deep as they usually go. Potassium iodide. I guess I should grab the lye powder in case we run out of liquid ammonia. So we got uh, slime pit, purifier primer, which I don't generally end up using. Either cyborg. All right, only north and south. That's kind of odd. Apartment area and another three by three. worried about in these rooms is uh, taser hacks. Little creepy crawly robots. pit. So one of these directions, there's going to be uh, an endpoint room, barracks or prisoner containment and such. <laughs> Come on. Come on, game. Damn. Why you got to do this to me? <laughs> if they, if they up the uh, percentage of rooms with radiation, I mean, I got to go that way in order to see what's down here. Like, there's no other path in there for me. 
Ah, the nuke! <laughs> uh, even the blobs are afraid of the radiation. I am going to be... Oh, this is a cave-in area. Yeah, this counts as a dead-end area. All right, so... Unfortunately, this whole place is useless to me. we got to go north. Suck up some more rads. Guess I should have... Uh, should have taken some Prussian blue. Start that downward trend. How did I notice the rads? Well, the, the cleaner bot. Anytime you see a cleaner bot, there means there's radiation nearby. They're there cleaning radiation. So it's... The cleaner bot was right in the hallway. So I knew it was either a plutonium slurry spill or the, uh, the, the nuke. Guaranteed to be somewhere in that area. Chemistry book we've already got. Don't need any of that. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Oop, morphine? I do care. I worry about uh, shock and acid, of course. Couple of security guards. Let's go out the window. Sucks having to pay the cost to move into that window, don't it? Really? They put somebody in the uh no oh, the other other wall area. Well, this is going to suck. Here comes the suckage. Oh, boy. Crappity crap crap. And once again, I've got to deal with him. There's nowhere else to go on this level. Unless I find a different stair down from the level above. Ugh. Howdy, Kanye. It's also a skeletal, which is harder to hit with bullets. Um, gonna get zapped. Yeah, this this could go really, really badly, really, really quickly. I uh, don't know that I. Uh, I mean, the blast is gonna hit me and be all around me. I'm gonna be stunned. Then have to try to move through additional stun fields. Then try to get the door between me and him. <laughs> oh boy. Or we just stand in place, go full auto, and embrace the suck. Uh, not much is going to help here. Hey, we're overweight, too. <laughs> Not good there, either. We remember being overweight, and when I get shocked and my strength drops, I'll be even more overweight. If it was about 15 minutes later, I would stop here as a cliffhanger. Maybe I'll do that anyway. Because this is going to suck. Uh... Uh, well, I need to step away from the computer for a second anyway, so I'll, uh, I'll decide. I'll be right back.
All right. Um, want to EMP me? I don't care about the EMP. Um, I am the only thing providing light other than the shocker itself. If I can get even a few spaces on him and turn my headlamp off, he won't be able to see me to shock blast me after a couple of spaces. But he's going to get the initial blast off and then step next to me while I'm stunned. And then depending on how the sparkles line up, I could end up being sparkle stunned, sparkle stunned, and then another blast lands before I can get clear. God, I hate this guy. And if I try to hold position, I'm going to get no aiming time. So I've already spent points... He must have been to the diagonals, because otherwise he would have shock blasted me, I think, instead of stepping forward. He had to step forward to get line of sight on me. So I think I've got nearly full movement points to get a little bit of aiming in. But there's almost zero chance I'm going to drop him in one burst. And then after that, it's constant shock interrupts. <clears throat> I don't know. This one's a little tricky. Um, and I'll really be um, pushing my luck if I try to get any aiming in before I pull the trigger. One pulse too far and I lose the opportunity and he gets the, uh, the shock blast before I can put any damage on him. I'm not going to make it far enough to get around that corner before he hits the blast, but if I am full movement or near full, I should get into the doorway. I, I just, I don't think I can get that door closed between me and him before uh, I end up getting chain stunned, no matter what. Let's ninety eight speed currently. Yeah, not quite enough. I think I'm going to go for the movement. I'm going to pray I get at least to the into the doorway before the shock blast hits. Now the question is, am I going to be able to get up and get a, to the left and get the door closed before the shock cloud transitions over to me again and before I can get the door closed? Oh, we just took a second hit. And a third. And a fourth. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, so... Now, theoretically, when he opens that door, if he does open it, I'll be able to blap him. Or I could go up the other way and blap him from range to the right. Was about the best case scenario. <laughs> I was most worried about me getting shock stunned so much that I wouldn't get that door closed. Once we got the door closed and I was able to get distance, I knew I was all right as soon as I got the uh, but let my light turned off so we wouldn't be able to distance shock blast me. So, 
Okay, so there you go. That was uh, that was a tricky one. I was really undecided on how to go about that. You saw how many shots it took me. I was doing precise shots from six spaces away, and I, it took me how many? <laughs> that many? That's more than six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten! If I had done a, uh, a burst fire, I would have only landed one or two shots. The rest of them would have gone scattering wide, probably. Uh, it wouldn't have mattered if he uh, cared about the shots either way. I would have been able, easily able to keep distance and keep shooting him and backing up. So, But yeah, he didn't care. He, I was outside of his vision range and he wasn't caring about the noise that was being made, apparently. So he was still trying to pursue me the last direction he saw me. Competing imperatives. But yeah, I'm very glad I did not try to burst fire that guy. I absolutely wouldn't have dropped him, probably in... Mm, if I'd gotten some criticals from point blank, maybe I would have dropped him in two bursts, but it would have taken at least two. And I think it would have turned out way worse for me if I'd gone that direction. So... Alright, no more of those, please. That's, uh, that's not what I was, I was hoping to see. <laughs> Rude. Uh, I don't need food or anything like that, really. I'm mostly looking for books here in the, uh, the research area, or the living area. <laughs> the old bathroom man hack ambush. <laughs> there goes another bar. <laughs> How many hit points does this stupid character got? I know I'm flimsy, but man. <laughs> Get tapped by a man hack and lose a bar. All right, so north, south, east, west are okay. This was just a southern spur leading to the cave-in area, which counts as an endpoint room. This counts the same as the uh, uh, barracks and the prisoner containment and the library. There's four different endpoint rooms. This, unfortunately, is one of them. The most useless of the one four. Let's go this way next. I haven't heard much over here. Oh, we got five floors. Damn it, who's knocking stuff down now? Oh, I gotta remember I'm overweight. I'm even more overweight now because we lost that strength point. Uh yeah, let's let's back off. I can't risk that. Alright. But we know we got a five floor lab. So awesome. We got we got one of my wishes. Well, two of my wishes. A, it was not <laughs> a, a nice lab. And B, it's a full five floors. So that'll give us some opportunity. He didn't bring me anything fun. I have to be careful with hauling stuff out where I spend a lot of time anywhere near that radiation source. Headlamp off. Uh, straight down. All right, you get those. <clears throat> Fractional distillation.
Time to slather healing juice on all the bites. I think I'm out of gauze now until I open up these random eye facts and crap I've still got sitting around. No, we still got some. Whoops, too much. Too much. Alright, six and six. Perfect, perfect. Boo-boos are attended to. Um, well, yeah, I, I don't have much use for the Mediagenic Vaults because they're mostly going to have uh, already typed mutation stuff that I don't care about. None of these are going to have medical. So at best, I'll get standard mutagen and maybe some purifier, but purifier I don't care about either usually. I just rock the full full load of good and bad mutations for the mutation paths, typically. But we'll see what we can do. Um, so yeah, the vaults are moderate usefulness, <clears throat> given how much I have to mass produce on my own anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't think I need to do anything else. No, they can't have medical mutagen. Medical is one of the high-end mutagens, like uh, uh, Raptor and a couple others. They're not going to show up in the standard vaults. The standard vaults just have things like cow and, and rabbit and all that kind of stuff. So, no medical in those vaults. <laughs> yeah, Chimera is pretty fun. All right, uh, what else? Got uh, mostly reloaded, gear's okay. Just took the unfortunate damage, but we did a bit of exploration. We found out we do have a five level lab. So far, no hint of any triffids in the area. I'm fairly confident of our exit ability. Um, so probably on Monday, we'll, we'll sweep through the rest of this lab. It shouldn't take me long to get through it. Oh yeah, what was the other tool? Uh, so I got so many tools. What else did I have? I've got, if any, uh, fractional distillation apparatus. So that's distillation quality. Is that the only one? Oh, that's the only one. All right, we have one of the four. Must be remembering having one from one of the previous doctors. We make a separation. We can make a separation funnel. How do I not have metal tongs? <laughs> really? Plastic stopcock? Huh. Yeah, apparently that's makeable. Just need to put charges in my vacuum molder. All right, so we can make the second one. That'll give us two. We still need analysis and concentration <clears throat> to complete the, the quad. We can make mutagen missing one of those. I forget which, but uh, I think con concentration... Probably concentration for primers or something like that. The good stuff. Um, yeah, so hopefully we get the last two that we need while we're down in the lab. And uh, I'm just so happy we found a science lab finally. <laughs> so, so much effort. And it's not too far from the military base. Technically, all I need to do to finish the challenge is if I get lucky here... And we get uh, a decent amount of samples up at the TCL warehouse, human samples, and I don't have to go find and craft a bunch. Um, then uh, it's just down to clearing out the military base and getting mutated. So we might have it available. 
we'll see. Unfortunately, we have uh, we've run out of time this evening, so I will uh, have to put a save and quit in here. If you missed my announcement earlier in the stream, uh, next weekend, not tomorrow and Sunday, but the 11th and the 12th, uh, I'm going to be doing a combined former Thrax birthday party as well as a five-year channel anniversary uh, celebration. So uh, next Saturday, I'll be streaming all day on Twitch, uh, a bunch of different games and things and then on sunday i'll be streaming to youtube mostly um but yeah if you're if you're available and want to hang out feel free to drop by we'll have some uh, hopefully some fun some entertainment and uh we'll all talk about how old vormithrax is and i'll i'll continue to make references from the 70s and 80s that none of you guys get without looking up in google and uh you know we'll go about our business so have a great night great weekend let me go check anybody on that i can go a raiden i can inflict you fine folks on Hey, Avax on. Let's go raid Avax. Avax playing Humankind. I never played Humankind. Give me one moment. I'll set the raid up here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That button. And then... Um, that button. That button. Okay, off you go.